Oke, kembali lagi bersama aku dan kan <tuh> sabar sabar. Oke, kembali lagi bersama aku dan kali ini kita uh, pengen nge-reaction 4 video ya. Karena sebenarnya sih pengen upload pengen reaction 3 video, tapi ada satu video lagi yang terbaru dari Tesla. Um, ya jadinya jadinya nanti kita akan upload 4 video. <tuh> Sabar sama Maaf ya suaraku agak kecil nih Soalnya Ini jam setengah 12 Baru aku bikin videonya nih Soalnya ini Malam-malam nih Tesla Tesla Cybertruck nih Lagi ramai diperbincangkan orang Gitu Makanya nanti kita reaction aja Tetapi nanti besok kita bi Besok kita driving di CDT ya. Oke Video pertama Ini adalah trailernya belum mulai sabar 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 ini gimana dulu ya kita cobain dulu loh kok mau makin jahat Sabar, sabar. Oke, dah. Oke, okay. tunggu sabar. Ya. Kita ke video selanjutnya. Oke, okay. ya. Um, kita mulai aja dulu videonya ya. Nah ini video kedua ini Cybertruck Ball Test. Hey, ya. I need everybody to clear out. We've already tested shopping carts and we've tested door dings. Today we're going to get a chance to test the actual bullet performance. So when we first started the design for Cybertruck, the goal was to come up with something that had an exoskeleton. We had to make a custom alloy to make it more ductile. While we're at it, we also made it a bit more corrosion resistant. So this is a 300 series. Our panels are up to 1.8 millimeters thick. So actually carrying structural load, not just there for aesthetics. Obviously we didn't design it. Okay, kita terpaksa ulang lagi dari awal. Hey, hey, I need everybody, everybody to clear out. We've already tested shopping carts and we've tested door dings. Today we're going to get a chance to test 
the actual bullet performance. So when we first started the design for Cybertruck, the goal was to come up with something that had an exoskeleton. We had to make a custom alloy to make it more ductile. While we're at it, we also made it a bit more corrosion resistant. So this is a 300 series. Our panels are up to 1.8 millimeters thick. So actually carrying structural load, not just there for aesthetics. Obviously we didn't design it to be bulletproof, but if it works out in the end, it's just icing on the cake. So we've got a couple guns here to go through, starting with a nine millimeter Glock, shotgun, double op buck, and of course, Tommy gun, 45 caliber. So we'll get all these through tested today and we'll see the results. Range is hot. Dead down. Clear. I was really nervous. It's hard to say how nervous I was, but it worked out. We, we took a Tommy gun to the side of this truck and everything looks intact. All right, moment of truth. It's pretty good. This one is heads. Happy? <laughs> So that's nine millimeter, 115 grain from a Glock. We're looking pretty good. We've got one spot where we got a double hit. And so we've got a little bit of cracking, but everywhere else, we've just got a crater. Looks good. All right, so this was an MP5. It's the same nine millimeter, 115 grain. It's going a bit faster. We've got only a four inch barrel, but an eight inch suppressor on that. So you can kind of see obviously a bit more tighter grouping, but um, yeah, still no penetration. So looking good. This is a 12 gauge M4 shotgun with double op buck. Took five rounds, held up pretty well. We had one where we got Two of the buckshots hit right in the same spot. Got a bit of a through hole there. Let's see if it made it all the way through. Well, the inside of the panel's good. There's no hole here. Let's see about the glass. Yeah, we got a little crack in the glass, but it held. All the windows are intact. Everything functions just as it did when we started here. So I call it a success. <laughs> So don't believe the movies. When you shoot a normal truck, the bullets go in one side, straight through, and out the other side. You cannot hide behind the vehicle to be safe. So it's something to keep in mind, unless you're in a cyber truck. Okay, kita lanjut ke video berikutnya. Okay. Video ketiga ini adalah Cybertruck Truck Pool. This is a self-propelled sled. It pulls itself backwards. This weighs about 35,000 pounds. As the box moves forward, it increases the weight onto the pan, which is here on the ground, causing the driver to go no further. The sled will always win. It's got so much weight behind it. The mark of success here is as far forward along the track as you can get. It's got so much weight behind it. The mark of success here is as far forward along the track as you can get. Okay, new you jump up on the Ford F. Yeah. Kita bisa lihat dari sini. Nah, Ford F-150 Lightning. Electric dual motor. 6973 LBS curb weight. Dan 8500 LBS towing capacity. Kapasitasnya. Oke, okay, ini R1T. 
baterai kita coba lihat dulu kalau elektrik kuat motor 7148 lbs curb weight dan 11000 lbs towing capacity LBS curb weight 21.900 LBS towing capacity Today we've got a couple vehicles here. Having the vehicles fully charged matters because that's when you have your peak power. Making sure they're all fully charged really gets us on the same playing field. We wanted to bring not just an EV competitor, so we also looked at what is a great internal combustion engine vehicle that's got huge towing capacity and great capability. Tractive power is really how much can you get that power from the motor to the ground. Truckful is a showcase of power and tractive power of the truck. And that translates directly to on the road towing, towing your boat, towing your payload. What we've designed the truck to be is like really comfortable, really stable, really powerful at high payloads. And that gives you the ability to be confident on road. In order to make this a really apples to apples comparison, we're running them as they come straight from the factory. So stock tires, they're running at a curb weight plus driver. A heavier truck in this kind of event will typically give you more momentum with the truck itself. So coming in here with a truck that's one of the lightest in this group, if not the lightest, and out pulling everybody else really says something about the capabilities of the vehicle. Oh, so give me a look. Oke, okay, kita lanjut ke video terakhir. Oke, okay, ini dia video terakhir yaitu Cyber Beast versus Porsche 911. Sampai di sini dulu videonya, sampai jumpa lagi di video selanjutnya.